This week it's all about the booze, or is it? It is. It's about the booze. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Busted Tees and Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash scam school. As you might know, clean water is one of the scarcest resources in the world. We need it to survive, and yet nearly a billion people don't have access to it. So we've partnered with Charity Water to help make a difference. Charity Water gives 100% of the money it raises to building wells and bringing clean water to communities in need. Every show on Revision 3 is reaching out to you guys to help raise money to build wells. It takes $5,000 to build a well that will give water to an entire village. So head on over to mycharitywater.org slash scam school campaign to learn more and get involved for the cause. Welcome to the show that's banned from 28 casinos and counting. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week, not only do we get to learn one of my favorite effects from one of my favorite magicians, but I get to hang out with a couple of my all-time personal heroes. Let's check it out. OMG WTF LOL, this is like one of the best moments of my entire life because I, I've been a fan of PC Gamer since the mid 90s and to have you guys here is hear awesome. That. Logan, it is good to meet you. Good Evan, to meet you. it's good to meet you. Brian, you have nothing to do with PC Gamer whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, so but great I'm, guy, <laughs> fantastic guy. I'm glad that you're here. So tell me what you guys do at PCG. I'm the editor in chief of PC Gamer Magazine. You are the dark overlord the that overlord. controls. I eat souls. <laughs> I eat. And that's not even a metaphor of Warcraft. Uh, uh, no. You physically uh, eat yes, souls. Absolutely. Tear them out, slice them up. All right, well, here's what I thought. I did, I did something special for you guys. A friend of mine is a very accomplished magician, and he came up with a really neat idea. Since you guys are all about PC gaming, I thought we would play a little game together. And for this game, that's good. what we're going to do is I'm going to fill up seven of these eight shot glasses with water. The last one I'll, will I'll be like filled with vodka. Do a wallet check, though. This guy's a. Let's see. Yeah. All right, so obviously, uh, do, do me a favor, everybody. Just smell this. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's the good, good stuff. stuff. That's the good stuff, that's right? That's the hooch. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. I did my best to make okay. them all as even as possible. And now what I'm going to do is, this will be an interesting game of parody, okay? Because okay. we're all going to take turns mixing them up. And at no point will all of all of you look away so that I could do something sneaky. So obviously, if there's just one of us, if you turn around, for all you know, I'd dump it out and fill it with water or something, right? You would do that. So we want to, we want to be totally fair here. So I'm going to get two of you guys to yeah. look away. All right, so let me get Brian and Brian and, and Logan all to right. look away. All right. And I'm going to, I'm going to mix up the, you guys, look, look, look all right. Hey. All right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do some mixing yeah, up here. All right? I'm going to do some mixing up. Like some mixing up. Ziggurat. Some mixing up. Like, okay, now look back. Now look back. All right. All right, now. We'll have Logan and Evan look away. You All guys right. look away. I'm gonna do some mixing up. Just observing. I'm gonna do some mixing up. I think this place I'm gonna is do a good some mixing up. I'm gonna do some mixing up. Sort of. Okay. All right. Now you guys oh. look away. Logan, you watch. All right. All right. I want you to verify. All right. Now the reason we're doing this is now. I'm on. There we go. Now yeah. you guys turn around. Okay. So now all three of you guys have no idea which one of these has the vodka. No. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm gonna trust you guys, and I'm gonna look away. All three of you, feel free to mix them up as much as you want. They did that in the great days. Up. Get them all lined up in a row. Right. You got it? Tell me when you're done. That's good. All right, you got it? Okay. Yeah, got it. So, all three of us. Now, at no point, I mean, I guess you three could have conspired to just replace them all with exact duplicates, in which case I bow to your awesome scamming <laughs> right, right. ability. But my phone right? was off. I couldn't But talk. I suspect that there's no way any of us know which one of these, unless they were marked in some way. And I will give you my word of honor. I'll say they're definitely not marked, okay? Now we're going to play a game. Okay. I want to drink the vodka because apparently I'm an alcoholic. I like that game. I like that <laughs> and game. So, and so if any of you guys end up with the, with the vodka, you win okay. and I lose. All right, but if I end up with a vodka, I win. Fair enough. I'm gonna pick the first one, and I'm gonna give this one to Logan. All right, all right, Logan, slam that bad boy. Nope. Nope. Okay, good, 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 good. That's one. All right. Damn. Now, Logan, I want you to give one to Brian. There you go, sir. Better be good. No, I hope so. If so, did take half and then give the. I love the look of abject dejection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, I have no reason to live. It was not booze after all. Next. 
All right, let's do, I tell you, I'll do another one. I'm gonna give this one. If you got the vodka, you're fired. To Evan. <laughs> <laughs> you're out. Okay, here we go. And again, the disappointment, but I tell you I what, like you, you do going. get a consolation prize. Evan, I want you to point to one of these and I want you to push it forward to Logan. You get yes. to pick one to give to Logan. I'm feeling this one. That looks good. Slam? Yeah, if you, if you can. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna be a little more precise here. Brian, I want you to pull one back and drink it yourself. I want you, Evan, to pick one, and I want you to pick one. And I want each of you to pull them back and immediately drink them. Okay. Yep. What the? Water. And meanwhile, this bad boy, you want, oh! Whoa! Whoa! I just want you, just want you to verify that Brian ends up what with the? the <laughs> Now here's the question. First of all, was that a pretty good game? I mean, not for you guys, but for me, getting the free tin, the free booze. <laughs> oh, so you're trying to steal it from me is what's going on. Here's the important question. Do you want to know how to pull that on your friends? Uh, yes. Well, we are going yes. to find out. But first, we have to thank our sponsors, Toast Me, with your empty glasses. And admit defeat. Defeated. Okay, gang, let's talk about Audible. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, played back anytime, anywhere. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Here's the best part. Head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash school and you get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. What? 100% free, dude. Head on over to audiblepodcast.com slash scam school for your free audiobook. And you know who I recommend? I recommend you check out Born Standing Up, written and narrated by Steve Martin. It's totally unabridged. And if you have ever wondered what it's like to pay your dues, to get started in performing and magic and comedy, in being an entertainer, this absolutely nails it. It's a story of how Steve Martin started at age 10 selling guidebooks at Disneyland and ended up with the biggest concert draw in the history of stand-up by 1978. More importantly, why he walked away from stand-up afterwards. And the best part is, it's totally free. Head on over there. All right, first of all, on a scale of one to brain explosion, how frustrating was this to not know how it was done? At <laughs> least at 11, out of a scale of one to brain explosion. <laughs> this was actually created by a friend of mine named Andrew Main, who's a brilliant consultant. He creates all kinds of magic badassery. And I first read this like 15 years ago, and he was kind enough to let us share this on Scam School. It's actually part of an entire book he wrote called Mind Effects, and I highly, highly recommend it. All of his stuff is at andrewmain.com. But the secret behind it is so devious and so clever and so brilliant. First of all, Everything is pretty much what it looks like here. You really need to get eight shot glasses that look as close to identical as possible. In fact, we actually originally were gonna do this with 10, but we noticed that a couple of them had like a crack in them or a line was missing. Mm -hmm. And so we we're like, well, we don't want you guys looking that close. And you really do fill all of them as closely as you can with water. And now you, when you do this, you wanna make sure that you don't actually spill it. So, it, so for example, like that could be looked as a mark because now it's on the yeah. outside, that kind of thing. So you should have seven of the eight as close to identical as possible. And I like actually using a bottle of water because it makes yeah. it clear. It actually says water on it. There's not a big, big question about it. And if you want, they can actually taste it. It doesn't really matter. It takes and then you bust out. Them, so, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Then you bust out uh, the vodka. The only part, well actually, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how it's done. Smell that vodka. What? 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 <laughs> Just, just drink it right on down. What the? What because it's just water in there, right? <laughs> That's crap. That's <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I hate you. Gosh, you. you suck. So <laughs> you could do it as a kind of thing where you have ten shots. You say nine of these are filled with water. This tenth one is filled with guess what? And then they smell and they're like, ooh, vodka. And regardless, whatever it is. I did it is, smell it. it. It did smell like vodka. Didn't yes. It? Exactly. Which is where this comes in behind the bar, oh. completely soaked in rubbing alcohol, 
I put this oh. towel right here. Now, the, in fact, out of this whole thing, now I'll explain everything in detail, but let me just state for the record that the only thing I truly feel bad about this presentation is that I made Tito's sweet, sweet handmade vodka out of Austin, Texas appear to the home viewer to not be completely awesome. The problem we ran into is that actual vodka doesn't really put off that much of a smell, especially when it's high-end vodka. It's been distilled so many times, I think this is what, distilled six times, to where it really doesn't have much of a smell. So we actually went out and got rubbing alcohol, which does a really good job, especially if you soak it. It stays for a long time and it evaporates very quickly. So if you touch this and almost instantly it dries and yet smell that. Like it's very powerful. No. It smells like it smells like. Well, can I have some of that? Some more. <laughs> I was promised booze on this podcast. <laughs> so here's the way you lay everything out, okay? You want to keep this where they can't see it. If you're doing it as a stage effect, if you're doing it for your friends, just make sure you put this where they're not looking. And you want to make sure, in fact, I was worried before we even started that the odor of this was so strong that you would smell it before we even began. But luckily it wasn't a problem. So you fill all seven of these up, you get to the last one. You fill it up as well. Now notice, this is the only tricky move I do right here. After I fill it, I say, I put this down here. Since my hand's out of the way, I just grabbed this and I just squeezed it so it was dripping all over my hands. And I grab it and I'm like, smell that. And it's a very pungent, very powerful odor that very clearly indicates that it's got to be booze, right? And then uh, uh, my own little touch that I added, because I wanted to do it for a close-up thing, uh -huh. was the whole idea of having, at any one time, I didn't want everybody looking the other way because, you know, I'm a magician slash right. douchebag, so that means something's gonna happen. <laughs> so this way, you were able to double check to make sure I wasn't cheating, and we got it all done. So, the question is, who is ready to perform this trick for me? I'll do it. All right, fine, we're gonna do it. But yes. first, we gotta thank our sponsors. Let's thank, I, let's thank sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to take a moment to tell you guys about Busted Tees. The guys over at College Humor set up the site as a depot for funny t-shirts back in 2004, and since then they've been putting out the best funny shirts on the entire interwebs. It doesn't matter if you're into video games, movies, geography, politics, science fiction, or just wrapping your torso with something weird, Busted Tees literally has you covered. They're the coolest items of clothing since windbreakers were invented. Windbreakers are cool, right? Windbreakers, right? You might have seen a busted tee or two pop up in movies like Knocked Up or shows like Scrubs, and now you can grab one to have for your very own forever and ever and ever. And they're printed in the good old US of A on high quality, super soft materials in a sweatshop free environment, so you'll be plagued with guilt when you order them, which is, you know, always a plus. Head on over to bustedtees.com right now. At, actually, finish watching this video, then head over to Busted Tees, start scrolling, and get ready to find the shirt of your dreams your bizarre, hilarious dreams. Most importantly, enter the promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout and you'll not only get 10% off your order, but you will be keeping me swimming in free drinks. And throwing the occasional one to you too. All right, Logan, final exam time. Okay. Go. We got eight shots, all right? One of them is vodka and that happens to be this one. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and smell that. Uh, uh. Sweet, Fragrant. sweet moonshine. Fragrant. That smell like something you want? Absolutely it does. <laughs> All right, you too. I'm gonna turn my back, uh, switch. All right, two, here, I'll look the around. other way. So I'll turn around my back as well. Yeah. Pick it up, gentlemen. All right, I'm gonna turn around again. All right. And now I want you two to uh, mix, turn, them up. mix them up All again. Right, done and done. Come on. Mixing them up. Couple mix of them, them up, go boss. ahead. Woo! Yeah, mix yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Got I'm coming it, around, I'm coming around. All right. All right, now I'm gonna turn my back and I want all three of you. To, uh, to get down there and scramble it up. All, All right, right, here we go. Done and done. All done right, done. four, three, two, one. All right, here I come. I now. like the snaps. <laughs> yeah. The snaps okay. are very Vegas of now, me. You this. two, take two each. What? That's right, come on, come on, down them, down them. Oh come on, gosh. are we men? Are we men? Come on, drink, drink, drink. What you happened? Water. water, okay, now you two, I want you to take two, one. I only get one? You only get one, right, sorry, fine. you can see this all the time. That's right, yep, two. you take one. Okay. Bogus, bogus, bro. Take one more. I'll take, take that one. I'll take this That's one. Right. All right, got, got it, got it. Well, what's that one? That one is the. Hmm. Hmm. The acting too. <laughs> 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 that was freaking awesome! Yeah, no, that's a little, you know, 
The only the only thing you missed was making sure to hold it out for us to smell to prove oh, that it's vodka. Right. But okay. outside of that, it was 100% perfect. Holy cow, Logan, you guys were Thank amazing. You. Thank all of you guys, Brian, Evan, for being on the show. I love you guys. That you got to awesome. start early as this scam artist, I guess. Yeah, so. <laughs> I need a little polish there. Um. Got two major shout outs this episode. First of all, make sure to check out Logan and Evan over at PCGamer.com and check them out on the PC Gamer podcast. And most importantly, I want to give a huge thank you to my buddy Andrew Main for sharing this effect with us. This is one of the signature bits in his Mind Effects ebook available right now, along with a million other awesome tricks at andrewmain.com. He told me personally that if you mention Scam School in the notes when you buy any item at his website, he'll kick in a free extra ebook just for you. Now I know you're gonna have great stories of success and some awesome stories of failure, so I want you to post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or follow my personal adventures all over the internet by following me at twitter.com slash schwood. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, hit me up directly at brian at revision3.com. And don't forget to join us next week where we are going to teach you how to scam a ride in a police interceptor simply by committing a crime. That's next week on Scam School. I'm going to start by jaywalking. Could go wrong. There's cars out here. I'm not really gonna jaywalk.